when you talk about building a knowledge-based economy, you need innovation. And why now? If we want to become an upper middle income country, if we want to transform lives, we need innovation to leapfrog. And innovation is multiple things. It's the mindset change that the minister spoke about. It's the methods and tools that we're using. And it's also applying new ideas and a different way of thinking to the problems that we're facing. It means creating value um, so that you can create opportunities and address the challenges that we're facing. Reflecting on the journey of Zipline to start in Rwanda, the impact that Zipline has made, and the stories of those of us who have worked at Zipline, is a proof that Rwandans are able to do things we never thought that we would be able to do, and we are capable of doing that. For me, this is a proof that we have the capabilities, we have the opportunities, to be able to achieve what we can, we are, what is far beyond than we can imagine through companies like Zipline and Irembo, through governments, Kigali Innovation City, for example, or as entrepreneurs doing our own things. What we have learned as we built this product is that it's not solving a government problem, it's not solving a Rwandan problem, it is solving a global problem. And the problem is how do you deliver the best possible service to your users, whatever type of organization that you are. What we are really in the business of is customer service. If you are a bank offering services, why do people need to queue in your offices to create a new account? If you're an insurance company, why do people have to leave their jobs, drive their cars to your office to buy car insurance and then go somewhere else to compare to make sure the prices are right? And this is what users keep asking us every day. Cyber crimes. Nurugamba rukomere kubirwanya ariko na police igihugu byinshi bimaze gukorwa. Eh ari intambwe ishimishije 